So now in the last video, we used a push button switch on the high side of a load and on a low side of a load. In this video, we're going to look at the bipolar junction transistor switch circuit. And unfortunately, we have an NPN bipolar junction transistor and a PNP bipolar junction transistor. They work on opposite voltages. You can't just kind of stick them wherever you want within a circuit if you want a switch circuit. The emitter needs to be directly to the power supply, to the uh, negative supply, right there blue, or zero volts ground, however you want to refer to it, for the NPN bipolar junction transistor, and the emitter of the PNP bipolar junction transistor needs to be to the positive supply. So if you want a high side switch, you'll want a PNP bipolar junction transistor. If you want a low side switch, you'll want an NPN bipolar junction transistor just how it goes you want the load on the collector and so the uh, NPN is a little more common we'll talk about that one first you have to give a uh, positive voltage of at least 0.7 it's mostly the amount of current that flows through but it still has to be more positive than uh, ground right there for the uh, NPN from base to emitter and so a small current there will let the transistor conduct uh, pretty much fully but in any case it'll conduct a lot better then the resistor and LED, so the resistor and LED will set the current. We have the same thing with the PNP, except for polarities are opposite. So we have the emitter to the positive supply, the load from the uh, collector there on the uh, more negative side. And so we need to get this more negative, the uh, base side, than the emitter side, so that a little bit of current can flow through there. We're going to use 10 kilo ohm resistors, by the way, to both bases, and uh, a tiny bit of current that way allows it to conduct freely that way but the resistor and LED will limit current. So in any case, we'll zoom in and take a closer look. So the uh, NPN switch is pretty common, so I'll really just kind of go over this quickly. So we have the uh, positive supply to a resistor and LED, long lead the anode to the resistor, short lead the cathode down one row right there, and uh, then we have the uh, collector up there, base in the middle, and the emitter down at the uh, bottom. We have a 10 kilo ohm just floating. Now I can give it a false signal so it glows a little bit. But for the most part, if it's floating, nothing's going to happen. And I'll try not to uh, block your view. If we, go, if we go to the negative rail, that'll also hold it off right there, giving it zero volts. So it has to be more positive than the emitter. And uh, there you can see it's on and it's conducting fully. It's the uh, resistor and LED that are blocking the current. So... It's a green LED, it's really bright. We're using five volts, a one kilo ohm resistor right there. We probably got about two milliamps going through it, something like that, but they still get really bright even with low current. So now we come to the uh, PNP, bipolar junction transistor. The NPN had to be on the low side. The PNP has to be on the high side. So if you need a high side switch for whatever reason, or just want one, you'll want to work with the PNP bipolar junction transistor. So the uh, pin layout is the same, just chemistries are opposite. So now I have the emitter to the top, the base in the uh, middle. This is a 2N3906. I'm giving it a false signal again. I'll just yank that out because that's kind of distracting. And the collector comes to the resistor, resistor comes to the LED, long lead the anode to the resistor, short lead the cathode going to ground right there. So with the NPN bipolar junction transistor, we had to give it a higher signal than emitter, but uh, that won't work with the PNP. If I go to the positive rail, it just holds it off. And if it's floating, it just stays off, whether there's a resistor or not, as long as you don't touch it. We have to go to the negative rail right there to turn that on. So that's what's awkward about the uh, PNP bipolar junction transistor in most cases, is having to give a uh, low input to the uh, base but that allows current to go from emitter to a base a very small amount of current that's a 10,000 ohm resistor it lets once that little current is flowing though from a uh, more positive of the emitter to the base the base more negative that allows the transistor to conduct fully and the resistor and LED will limit current at that point and as you can see since it's a 1 kilo ohm resistor we have a 5 volt power supply and uh, the LEDs blocking about three volts dropping, I should say, about three volts. 
that leaves about two volts across a 1000 ohm resistor one kilo ohm resistor and so we'll have one thousandths of that voltage as current so we got uh, about two volts across the resistor two thousandths of an amp right there so if you don't know ohms law already make sure you look that up what I just said will make a lot more sense but in any case that's it for this video just kind of a quick demonstration and uh, just pointing out that the side of the load you want to switch on will determine whether you use NPN or PNP bipolar junction transistors they work exactly the same for the most part it's just the chemistries are opposite so the voltages across the pins and the direction of the current flow of them are opposite and the NPN is more common and uh, so it takes a little while to kind of get used to making PNP versions of NPN circuits but really it's not too bad once you get used to it make sure you check out one of the other videos click like subscribe the bell and uh, donate to Patreon if you can I put links down in the description that would help out a ton I'll see you in the next video